What's up guys, this is your boy the average gamer 98 over here back with another video for Injustice 2 Mobile and in this video we are going to look at a new strategy for fighting boss mythic wonder woman using actually a rise of krypton artifact and we are going to look at this using a review video which is posted by a friend of mine and his channel goes by the title trident gaming so you can go ahead and check out his channel for uh, this video and uh, make sure to like and subscribe his channel so that you uh, don't miss any of his videos so now let's jump into this video and let's look at what he's trying to do so basically what he's trying to do is uh, have the kryptonite spear equipped on predator batman and predator batman will be doing the stunts and mythic wonder woman is actually not immune to stun so she does not have the harmonious modifier which makes her completely uh, like uh, you can stun her completely with every stun so this works pretty well for your heartbreaker harley queen team and uh, like if you don't have arkham knight batman you can still use uh, predator batman or even silver batman for that matter to even stun a mythic wonder woman so let's jump into this video and look at why this strategy is kind of effective against uh, mythic wonder woman and if you are someone new uh, who is uh, like uh, new to the game you might want to try this out and even the experienced players uh, might want to try this out because this is actually a foolproof strategy once you level up the kryptonite spear to a certain level and even if it's not leveled up it is still useful and i'll show you why so let's jump into this video uh, posted by trident gaming so i have maximized the view and let's jump into what he's trying to do so let's forward it a bit let's forward it a bit and here we go so he has father box equipped on heartbreaker harley quinn uh, which is fine he is in heroic level 4 so definitely father box at a higher level is going to be more effective now you can see here 40 hits so and since it's 40 hits you have unblockable so kryptonite spear actually grants you the ability to go through the shield which is very much essential here because mythic wonder woman has the shield and if you're trying to stun and mythic wonder woman is not actually uh, stunned or is actually blocking then uh, she might actually have the shield up and that will cause a lot of damage and uh, you will probably even lose the character which is trying to do the stun so what happens here is he has the kryptonite spear and because of the kryptonite spear he gets this unblockable so his is at level 5 but uh, if you're having it at level 1 also you need 40 hits now you might think that 40 hits is a lot but if you're using this particular team uh, the LOA team uh, with Heartbreaker Harley Quinn as the main damage dealer so once Mythic Wonder Woman is stunned with one uh, set of combo from Heartbreaker Harley Quinn. You're going to get the combo meter up to 35, uh, 38 or even 40 plus with one string of combo, like a couple of strings of combo, like one tag in. So once you do that, obviously, once you tag in a Predator Batman or Arkham Knight Batman or uh, any other Batman for that matter, you're going to get this unblockable. And once it's unblockable, your shield by Mythic Wonder Woman will actually not work and you are going to stun. So let's look at that here. So he does the stun and once he does the stun, he also gains back the full health for Predator Batman. So if you just uh, go back a bit, you can see he is healing back with the uh, stun after doing the stun with Predator Batman. So this is also a property for uh, the Kryptonite Spear and this is immensely helpful here. So once he does the stun, and it's again it's the normal gameplay with the heartbreaker harley queen and you're gonna do a lot of damage so one other aspect to look at is see here so like i mentioned uh, the shield was up but it went through the shield and definitely this is something that you might want to look at so this obviously considers that you use the heartbreaker harley queen team and i guess now is the right time to build up your heartbreaker harley queen team because heartbreaker harley queen is available in arena and since she is available in arena make sure to get her gears and if, if it's just available you make it available and then you can just use uh, the champions arena shards to max her out so this is a good play by NRS of adding Heartbreaker Harley Quinn into the arena store and this definitely helps a lot of players and if you have this team which I believe uh, the new players will get a chance to get a hold of this team because EPA is also now available for sale in the chests 
so you are going to get some good uh, chances to get her and then you have this high damage dealing potential team so this is going to be fun and uh, make sure to check Trident Gaming's channel out uh, it's going to help him a lot and uh, this is your boy the average gamer 98 over here signing off you guys take care and i'm going to see you in the next one peace